Hey everyone, I'm right here at 2nd Street and St. Francis in Wichita. And uh, this is something that's pretty cool to see. It's free. There's also a store here. It's the Coleman Factory Outlet and Museum. Here is the side of the factory outlet. This is where Mr. Coleman himself ran his business out of. And it's right down here warehouse in there pretty cool it's a big Coleman outlet store in the back part and the front part just has a bunch of the uh, old Coleman lanterns and stove tops and things of that nature So, we're going to go inside. Coleman motorcycle up there. More coolers and lanterns and stove tops. old advertisements nice military lantern there in really good shape there's a Coleman bing back toss all these lanterns are in really good shape look at this old one right there really old one there some old irons down there. Waffle makers, lamps. You see these lamps? They can get real decorative. Ones that go on the wall there and light up for areas that didn't have electricity. Blue one. Yeah, they can really get decorative. Another motorcycle. Yeah, that's like that one in that antique store. Sure is. See, I really don't think that one that I have has that mica on there. Some really old lanterns here in the case. Kind of hard to see. Pretty cool, though. This sure is an ugly color lantern right here, this baby diarrhea yellow. Waffle makers there. Good in here. All kinds of shirts in here. I think I'm gonna get a shirt. Look at that. I like that one with the old lantern right there. Yeah. See these coffee things? Hmm? Got gas. <laughs> yeah, I like that one. I'm going to get that one. Hey, here's a little history of the Coleman Products and Museum. Look at these coffee makers, though. There's a street lamp. That's supposedly kind of like what he lined the streets with in uh, Oklahoma. So, yeah, see, it says right here. Yeah. Coleman arrived in Kingfisher, Oklahoma Territory, 
on January 1, 1900 and began calling on merchants of the small county seat town. At the end of the first week, he had sold only two lambs. It was a painful experience. But he eventually got it to where it yeah. was the most lit town in America, you know, which is impressive. Look at so these early so table lamp right yeah. there. It's so funky looking. Inspiration. Coleman realized he must sell light rather than lamps. So he would sell a lighting service. And so in January 1900 was born the Hydrocarbon Light Company. Coleman retraced his steps and offered to rent his lamps for a dollar per week, including fuel and service. No light, no pay. The straightforward offer succeeded, and before long, Kingfisher was the best lighted small town in Oklahoma. And even still, there's that Coleman uh, park there that you can see. Here, here is an old picture of this factory here. And there's a picture of Coleman himself working on a lantern. This is really cool. And then up there too. A little street light there. It's got a plug on it down at the bottom. Larger propane grill. Scenes on the glass. I, you know, I had one of those. It was around that same time period. It wasn't chrome, but it was green. And it had that fisherman on it, just like that. But then the glass broke. Uh -huh. So you can't get it again because it was a limited edition. And maybe some of you won't, don't know this, but the Sears lanterns were also made by Coleman. So you can interchange the parts. That's why you're seeing Sears right there. Bunch of lanterns. Kind of hard to focus with the light back behind. All sorts of lanterns. I've got a bunch of lanterns, but not this many. Look at this, this is a low pressure gas lantern there. It's got a little side compartment. I haven't seen one like that. Can still see someone's initials on the side of that. Here is a picture of out front. Traveling salesman extraordinaire. Old advertisement there. Magazine ad in the Family Circle 1961, it says. Old cans of fuel. Here is kitchen stove top and oven. Don't know if we're allowed to open this, but I'm curious. Look at that, there's some instruction manuals inside the oven. Pretty cool. That early patio grill. Quotations, Coleman's, A little history here. Pretty cool to see this. How big of an operation it used to be. This is Coleman Country Store there. A little wood carving. It's like an old refrigerator there. A little cooler. More of these lamps for your tabletop. Really decorative, really pretty. 
Some of them have some different shades on it and designs on the bottom. Definitely different looking. So this, I mean, this looks like the one we saw in the antique store right here. Yeah, it does. Same exact top even. Yeah. So around 1920. And then this, it's got a bug screen on it. Really like that. That's a good idea. Here's some more of these ones. These don't actually have glass on it. They have a, a mica on it. It's made out of mica. More of the decorative table lamps. I really like those. Yeah. Yeah. This is good a shape too. Yeah. So when you come to Wichita and if you're interested in lanterns, if you look in a lot of the antique stores, they're just littered with Coleman lanterns all over the place. Now some of them are expensive, so you kind of have to shop around. Of course you can find them on eBay, but one that we found that had some pretty good deals on lanterns was the Flying Moose here in Wichita. It's a bunch of products. Memorabilia of Coleman, pins and belt buckles and pocket knives, golf balls. All kinds of stuff. A military lantern back there. Real pretty. 40 millionth Coleman lantern, 1986. Real pretty. It's on the 85th birthday of Sheldon Coleman, it says. Poultry lantern, it says right there. Pretty cool. This first part is a museum, just telling the history. And the back part is an outlet where you can get all kinds of Coleman stuff, tents, all kinds of camping gear, coolers, you name it. Anything Coleman, it's here. I think they have some other stuff that's not made by Coleman, but pretty neat and free to see. So in the back of the store, they have this little area. And some more history of the Coleman. Coleman factory employees. Saturday evening post advertisement. Another one of these stove top ovens. Really cool to have a hunting cabin or something with this stuff. Actually use it. Be hard to find. So oil here. outhouse door up there I guess this is a kind of a, like a hand jug water cooler I guess but I really don't know what it is it looks like movie screen or touch screen to something but I don't know this is the repair shop at the back and there's some more lanterns across the top yeah. all kinds of parts for them <laughs> 